Let's take a look at MADCAM and see how the drilling function works. If we want to drill the holes uh, on this model, uh, we need to use a 4-axis machine. And the first thing to do is to select the model for MADCAM. Then we set up a 4-axis uh, machine. And uh, then we can uh, uh, set up the, uh, the uh, indexed 4-axis because the drilling is a 2D function and it only works for indexed machining. Click OK and then uh, it is possible to select edge curves from holes or you can uh, select points. And if we take a look at this model, and we can go to the uh, curve tools, and we can check how the edge curves looks. So we can try to duplicate an edge. So if I click on, on a hole here, we can see the hole has two curves because it's, it's created from uh, 180 degrees. It's not 360 degrees. So this, this means that we cannot select uh, the edge curve because it's not closed. It's two curves. So one way is to duplicate both of the edges and then join them. But it's uh, much easier to use points in uh, such case. So what I would do is to to create a point for the first hole. So I can uh, draw a line. So I can pick uh, the center point by clicking, adding a point to the midpoint of this line. So there we have the center point for the first curve. I can move this curve up a little bit so it will start above the model. Delete the line. And uh, we can also check MADCAM options for 2D and drilling. And here we can see some options for the position. And that should be from from uh, curves or point. The start level can be from the 3D model or from curves. But in this case, we have modeled the holes, so then it's uh, we have to use the start level from the location of the curve or the point. And the depth should be measured from the start level. Click OK, and then we can go to the 2D function drilling and then we select the point we can select the drill tool 3 mm drill and then we set the depth uh, it's I think is set about 10 mm and the save clearance 1.5 and uh, step down 3 mm and then we click OK. And there we have the first drill hole. Now we can uh, create a point from the side if we want to. I can show you how that works. So if we uh, put a point here from this side Then we can go to the 4-axis indexing and we can pick the direction. And we can uh, just drill from this point. And there we have the next drill hole from the side. And we can simulate this. 
and we can see that it first drills from the top and then from the side. But we can continue to to create all the drills drill holes, but it's a uh, show you another way so we delete the second drill hole and we only have the first drill tool path so what I will do is I put it in the right view I select the drill tool path I go to rotate and then I copy rotate and copy this tool path to the to go from the side and now we have from the top and from the right and now we want to copy copy those tool path along along the uh, along this model so we can just copy And there we have the first set of drill holes, and then we can uh, can select uh, all of those, all of these, and uh, then we can move move them. So it will fit the last set. Copy first. And uh, <coughs> when that's done, we can rotate, rotate uh, them 45 degrees. So now we rotate them 45 degrees and copy no 45 all of the drill holes. Oh well, we need to copy, rotate and copy plus and minus 45. So we select those and we rotate copy yes and uh, 90 degrees like that okay now we have all of the drill holes for this part and uh, now we can simulate the tool paths together we can see first it drills the first set of holes from the top and then from the side and then the 45 degrees holes Thank you very much.